My name is Ambassador Amika AK. You're watching Rapsali TV. Subscribe to Rapsali TV now. Reveal to us what he told you. The vulture. Oh, the vulture wishes to kill what it will devour. But the gods. The gods has denied the vulture its demand. Great one. I don't understand. We don't understand. Does it mean that our chief denies us the right of seeding? The lizard's love for the crack house does not make her the owner of the house. Ezemo, just like the lizard, I will keep nodding. I will keep nodding till the owner of the house notices my presence. Oh, my God, oh, my God. 
Your Highness. You have cried enough. And the gods have seen the sorrow in your heart. Why me? Jide, why me? Why has the gods denied me the right? to bear seed for my husband. The man that I have loved all my life. I thought that the gods knows and sees everything. They should know that I am pure before my husband and before Obulu, the Chiyomomo. No man has ever seen my nakedness. Neither did I break my flower before gracing my husband's bed. Yet, they deny me the right due for purity. I, I, I do not see it so, Your Highness. <laughs> Didn't you hear the words of our Junko, the High Priest? Didn't you hear it? Those are his words. A man has the right to speak their mind. Even that which the gods put in them. Your Highness, you can strongly believe in the gods for positive change. You can change their mind. But please, keep faith on the gods, just as I'm doing. <laughs> Your Highness, please stop crying. <laughs> Please stop crying, Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness is okay. My King. How is she? My king, she is in her heart. Oh, my king. I believe she may need you by her side. If you're not busy, I recommend you go see her.
Majesty, is it true that Ajunku the Great said that Umachi will never give you a seed? But Ajunku only told us a riddle, nothing more. Is it not that same riddle when interpreted point to the fact that Machi is not capable of seeding. Don't you ever use such word in my palace, Ichie. Never ever call Machi such a word. Never ever Machi will be a seed for me. Uh, Your Highness, that is not what he means. We are... What does he mean, Ichie Agama? Are... What does he mean? Enlighten me. Maybe I'm a fool now. Ndiche, I understand your concern, but never ever any of you call Machi a barren woman. Because I strongly believe that Oboro, the Chiyomumu, will grace her very soon with a seed. <clears throat> but when? <clears throat> Your Highness, our people say that when a child cries and points to a place, if the father is not there, the mother must be there. Mm -hmm. Of course, man. Season has passed since you both got married. Yet, we have not had a cry of a child from her door. And you are not getting any younger, Igwe. You must have a child that will succeed you mm. when you must have joined your ancestors. Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Highness. It looks like Machi cannot provide you a son. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. A vulture oh. wishes that she kills mm. whatever she is, but her, she denies her the right. No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Enough. Oh, 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 This meeting is over. Yeah? Yeah? You may leave my palace now. Yeah. I said leave! No. What? Highness. Yeah. Once again. Yeah. Once again.
But why would the Igwe do such a thing? Why? Why would they send the Indi chase away just because they told him the truth? Ah. Looking at Igwe's affection towards the Queen, sometimes I wonder if Igwe is in his clear sense of mind. Clear sense of mind how? Can't you see? Or don't you see how he adores the Queen? Even when she has not conceived, not to speak of losing it. Why would she conceive? When the girls has already likened her to a lizard that loves the crack house. <laughs> Why? In that, I agree with you. But treating the Indi the way he did today, that's very wrong of him. Bam. This is the exact thing I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Why will his royal highness, why will he just, why will he do such a thing? Why are you royal maidens of this palace speaking ill of your lords? Even when the king and the queen has been so kind to you all. Tell that to the queen the day she overhears you with this kind of conversation. And now leave and return back to your duties. have walked the elders out the way you did. They were right. My chi has denied me the right of conceiving. No, no, don't ever say that again. Never you say that. Oboro de chi omomu will never forget you. You were pure when our union was blessed at the shrine of Ulodi. So I do not believe whatever Ajunko has to say, nor the elders, you are not the lizard that lost to live by the crack wall. You are the owner of the house. I know, my love. I know. But the cap is too heavy for me to wear. Hobo, the goddess of fertility and children, is, is taking too long. In remembering me. And the people need an heir to the throne. Come. Umuakoli may say what they choose. Ajunku could decide what he wants to say. The elders can say what they may. But you still remain, my lady. The one I love. Ma. My own Ma. I could dear. Ready. Hey, okay, okay, come in. Come in. awake yes we saw her seated outside her hut we want to go get her water to wash her face and feet the queen is up so early why she looks like she's crying Are you up so early? 
Sleep has eluded my eyes, for my chi has deserted me. I long to be gathered to my ancestors, because each breaking of the day, I bring nothing but shame and disgrace to my husband, the king. <laughs> my queen, speak no such word, for it is too early to behold such an ill word from the mother of Umakoli kingdom. Jude. Jude, how dare you mock me? How dare you mock me by calling me the mother of this kingdom when my womb is yet to test a seed? Will my queen journey with me? To see Abonwa. Perchance, she might be the solution. Where is our mama? with the grace of God. Yes, she's a dry land that seed of human can never be cultivated. I hate her so much. Please, let's go. Barren witch. My queen still in the bed? No, your highness. The queen left the palace with Injude this morning. Left the palace? Yes, your highness. Did she tell you where she was going? They didn't say my king. Continue. I thought Injide told us to lie to the king. And who is Injide to tell me to lie to the king? Eh? What if he finds out? Then I'll be the one to be punished. Because I believe the king will not touch her because he favors her a lot. Well, I would have told the king the truth myself if you would have tried to lie to him. If you like, tell him. I'm not there. Izu! Izu! You're wasting our time and we're going to leave you. What is it? This element is is keeping us waiting. This is one thing I hate about Izu. Izu is always sluggish like snail. Izu. Izu. You have you seen? This is one thing I hate about him. This is one thing I hate about him. Anytime we are out here to fetch firewood, that is what he keeps doing. Great is your highness. What's the meaning of that? Why do you guys, why do you people do that? Why do you do that? And why would you bow to a man that feed our king with the wine of foolishness that he no longer respect our land and eat elder? Now, okay. I see. You now blame the queen for the king's action in sending the elders away the other day. You now blame her? Yes. She is the cause of everything. She is the cause of everything happening in this community. Tell him. Now, listen. Listen and listen very good. I will not be a part to this blasphemy. Oh, see, we can go. I wish the gods can grant us one favor. If they can change her as our queen, we can go. Shotuma, give me your hand and that which belongs to your husband.
What did you see, wise one? Silent. You do not speak for her. Wise one, please talk to me. Your stare is scaring me. I feel pity for you, my daughter. The gods has indeed denied you your right to bear seed for the king, but that of another. Why is one I don't understand? Little Eben, we cannot sit back here mourning over the king's insult. Why the problem of this land is still there untouched? Mm. Hey. What do you now suggest we should do? To go back there and receive another insult again? For what? <laughs> mm. You all got me wrong. I never say so. Then what are you yeah. saying? What are you insinuating? We shall go back there and let the king know that the tradition of this land demands that when a sitting king fail to have an heir to succeed him if he becomes 50 automatically the throne will be taken away from him and be given to whomever the gods may choose yes but i think the demand is useless because 50 years is such a long time mm. for the king to have a rethink. M marry another wife that will bear him a son. Thank right. you, Ishi Agama. Mm -hmm. You spoke well, you spoke well. Thank you. If the king needs another maiden, she will conceive. That goes for you, my daughter. If you live with another man, you will also conceive. Just as the water splashes on the earth, so as Akuna's seed scattered when the calabash of oats was broken. Where is one? What calabash? Leave us. Make hurry and leave the king. Or make him take another pride. Nothing will ever make you bear a child, Fakuna. No. No. Why me? Why would the gods of my chi treat me like this to the man that I love? Why? You may now go, my daughter. I'm not going anywhere, wise one. Answer me! What have I done? What did I do to deserve this? Answer me! You may go! Go! It was we. The church that made the law. We can seek have it amended. Ah. Mm -hmm. I suggest we have to go and see the boy first and hear what he has to say. That is exactly what I'm saying. Let us go and see him first. Yes. What is the name of this piggy that he did? Mm -hmm. ah. There is no problem in going to see him. But if he turns us down again, then we will invite Ajo Nko. Where is the 
queen. Since she returned, she has refused to come out of her hut. And she has refused to eat her food. Match him. Open this door. Go away. I want to be left alone. Why? Why would I go away? We have always shared our pains. We have always shared our sorrow. We are going to share this together, Machi. Both of you do not leave your spot until she comes out. Yes, Your Highness. And make sure her food is ready whenever she's hungry. Yes, Your Highness. Helen did I want to see her. Jidi, why did you take my wife to this morning? Your Highness, we went to see Abongwa, the great sea of fertility. Why did you take her there without my permission? Your Highness, I'm sorry. I only acted out of pity. I saw the Queen early this morning, up and sorrowing, uh, even before the third crow. So I felt she needed comfort. Did she get it? Comfort. Did she get the comfort? What did that old woman tell my wife? She hasn't eaten nor drank anything all day. And since she returned, she has not said a word. What did Aboma tell my wife? Most of their discussion, I was outside. The only thing I heard her said was the broken calabash of oath. The broken calabash? That's me. Your Highness, the elders are waiting for you at the chamber. <laughs> 